How you doing guys? My name is Michael Shirak and today you are watching Safe Haven Care and Quality. And I want to do a little video on just baby bearded dragon care since my citrus tiger blue bar Sunkiss has given birth on New Year's and then 60 days after that they hatched and now they're about going on two weeks old and I wanted to do a little care video for the ones that also have a baby bearded dra well, beard dragon that laid eggs and now they have babies. And now they're trying to figure out what to do. I don't have the best lighting for pictures, but the first thing you're going to want to do for baby bearded dragons is have a nice little setup. I give them ample opportunity to get heat well, it's just an ample opportunity to get UVB because you see on, to, on the top, I have a long strip in the back and then I have another UVB bulb running on the dual lamp that is also a ceramic bulb as well. And then I have the hot spot, but the ceramic bulb is just for ambient temperatures at nighttime so they don't drop below. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a nice little setup for them. Yes. You're going to need a spot for heat, little spots for them to hide out to be able to get rest. And a big part of caring for baby bearded dragons is making sure they constantly have greens. Don't let them run out of greens because they will start nipping at each other. A lot of bearded dragons like this, if they get hungry, they will start nipping at each other's tail. And it's hard to keep up on the greens because, well, number one, they're in with the enclosure with the baby bearded dragons, so they get wilted because it's warm in there. So you change the greens twice a day, once in the morning, which this is their first time getting greens, and then once mid evening, so they could have greens throughout the entire day that's fresh. All right, number two, you're always going to want to have to put calcium powder on those greens. Make sure calcium powder is on almost every single thing they eat. Their greens, their mealworms, their crickets, anything you give them, even chopped up squash, carrots, anything. Make sure they have greens with calcium powder, including their bugs. It's very important for the development of their bones. It actually makes their bones very a lot stronger than they would be without it. I bought a bearded dragon baby from somebody a long time ago. He he jumped off my lap onto the floor. His back broke. I was on the floor. So he only jumped about like a foot. I could tell that person did not use calcium powder and I asked if they did and they actually told me they didn't because it was somebody that apparently didn't know what they were doing and they just had babies and wanted to sell them, didn't know what they were doing taking care of them, but yeah. After that, I make sure to put calcium powder on my adult. Hey buddy. Even the crickets, mealworms, anything you give them, chopped up squash, make sure it's very small, make sure it has calcium powder. It's a big part in their bone development. Just in case they take a spill or they jump off your lap or your hand or whatever, it's gonna ensure or help make sure that they don't get hurt. Meaning their back or leg doesn't break and stuff like that makes a big difference, seriously. And they actually end up liking the calcium powder taste. So it sort of draws them to eating, you know, the, the greens, if they even don't like greens that much. I let them have greens for a little, but the first thing I do when I wake up is chop up some fresh greens and replace what they had left in there. I did that. Step number two is put some super worm, not super, sorry, put some mealworms in there. Another thing, sorry, another thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure there's always fresh water. Even though they don't drink fresh water, well, they don't drink water out of the bowl a lot of the times, and you have to drip water onto their tips or their nose, it's fine. Just make sure it's still there. They go in it, they, they take baths. Oh, shoot.
little frenzy starts once you put the mealworms in. I always put mealworms in one bowl by itself, and then I sprinkle the rest of the mealworms. Onto the salad. Sorry about that. Press stop for some, some reason. <laughs> Came out the woodworks for this. It is early, well, it is the morning time, so I wake up, first thing I do, give them greens. Second thing, prepare some mealworms with some calcium powder as well. The greens have calcium powder as well. Give them that, because you never want the bearded dragon babies to not have some greens or something to eat. They will start nipping at each other, then they're gonna start biting each other's tails, and baby bearded dragons and bearded dragons in general learn from each other so if one starts nipping then they start learning from each other's behavior and guess what then you have a problem so you really got to be on top of their food and just make it sure that their enclosure is clean because if they have poop everywhere they will actually eat the poop on accident thinking it's food or that could possibly happen and you really do not want them to uh have impaction or to get sick because that's just yeah so i clean this enclosure every two to three days because there is 29 baby bearded dragons in here that's a lot of waste so i clean every single thing in there i scrub it down with soap and water including that piece of wood the background piece of i don't even know what you call that the foliage and the water bowls and all the bowls. Clean everything sanitary, then you replace the paper towel. Babies are on paper towel for a reason. They go on substrates like Rep the Chip or Cocoa Block if you even really want. Just keep it a little dry. Actually no, Cocoa Block is not good for them because I've seen a, my bearded dragon eat Cocoa Block and it got her constipated. So, sorry, one second. I also want to touch up, touch up upon why I have two UV bulbs or two two UVB lights. I have that one long one going through the back, just so when they're hanging out on there, they're still getting UVB no matter what. And one over here, that should actually be more in the middle. The reason I have it like that is because UVB light is basically vitamins and stuff that helps the development of bone growth. You need that along with calcium powder for baby bearded dragons to grow and develop healthy and correctly so they can avoid bone disease, malnutrition, or just disformities. Like they will have messed up limbs like and stuff like that. And you really gotta have to make sure your UVB is not worn through. Like meaning change it every six months because these bulbs do lo lose their UVB-ness, if that's a word, after a few months. And a lot of these bulbs come with these little cards and they're cards to test the strength of UVB and they're the life of it. So always keep those cards and just to check them as you go because you want to make sure you're not just having a light on just to have a light on and uh, it's actually producing some UVB. And, uh, these guys are so freaking cute, seriously. Make sure they, so a few things that I recommend is always have greens, change the greens twice a day. Make sure there's calcium powder on everything you eat. Clean their enclosure, clean their enclosure every two to three days. If you have a bunch of hatchlings like this together, if it's just one, you could probably get away with cleaning it once a week. But since I have this many, I clean it every two to three days. And also make sure every time you clean it, you give them a nice little warm bath. It really helps with their sheds. And when you give them water, drip water down on their nose. I'll actually do that 
Let me get my water bottle and stuff set so I can show you. Got my water thing, I pumped it. If you see, it's the wand. You can spray it like that or just press it ever so slightly and it drips. And this is how I actually give my baby bearded dragons and my bearded dragon adults water. I offer everybody some water so it takes a little time. Got to be patient with these guys. Keep in mind, they did just have a lot of greens. And greens is also hydration. I'm just going to spray them all. In reality, I do normally just spray them real quick. Then I guess them to lick their lips and stuff. And when I see them licking their lips, that's when I go to give each one water. I do see this guy. the camera over he stopped living licking his lips but just give everybody a chance I hope we finally have a taker <laughs> I'm trying to get water to everybody bro you want some too A little difficult to get everybody water and I see everybody has big full bellies they're really hydrated because last night I gave everybody a lot of water and every single everyone seemed to drink a lot last night so they're not in dire need of water or else everybody would have been drinking but that is how I give my baby bearded dragons water and that's pretty much just <laughs> after they get water they all go where the light is or Pray to the sun gods. That's my setup for my babies. If I step back, I'll show you. That's the baby's tank. A 40 gallon and another 40. I have three adult bearded dragons. One is a free roamer. That's not the free roamer. He's just out of his tank right now. And that's Sunkiss, the mom that is the mother of that clutch. But uh, she's a citrus tiger blue bar. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of content of the baby bearded dragons. I love just watching them. I, I stand and watch them all the time. But I hope you guys enjoy your day. Stay safe. Stay inside. Contribute to social distancing because we do have to fight this. This is a serious epidemic right now. And it's, it's destroying this economy. Like legit businesses are closing right now because of it. So we need to stay strong. We need to stay in and get through this. Because we need to get back to what our lives meant to us. And that is being with others and contributing to, to society and we can't exactly do that if we're stuck inside <laughs> do you see how after i water them all of them go underneath the basking light sorry for the glare it's still morning time and the sun's sort of coming through my windows but that's a little preview i hope this video helped please like and subscribe i will be posting a lot more videos and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Enjoy your day, guys and ladies.